Metal detecting can mean many things for many people. For me, it's a personal connection with history, but it's also a chance to branch out and meet new people in the hobby. In this episode, my new friend down south detecting and I hit a nearby Kansas town only to figure out that it's loaded and we find some good stuff. I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm out here in Old Town today with my new friend down south detecting. Just got the first uh, old find of the day. It's an old bottle opener. I found the base of this old tree here, so first find of the day, we're gonna keep at it. We got a good day ahead of us. <laughs> All right, guys, so Zach's admiring my Indian right now. I just pulled, like, Whoa. would you believe me if I pulled it way out of there, guys? Like, it was pinpointed. It's like plus. nine inches. Yeah, it was deep. Um, Unbelievable. Right here in front of my car, again, I got the Equinox out here. Deep, deep Indian. Uh, it's an 1864. It's my oldest Indian now. It's worn. I don't know if it's an L on the ribbon. I don't know how we're going to tell. For the back, but awesome yeah. find, man. Thanks, man. All right, guys, here's a close-up right here. 1864 this is the year the park was founded so that is awesome we are going to keep at it i can't believe i just found that stay tuned guys zach's coming over down there in that hole under that root got myself a v-nickel awesome man get a close-up on that i think it's slick i think it's 1905 i think awesome i dug a lot of clad nickels today so i probably walked right over that well, it was an iffy signal, but, you know, it's the Indian was, like, right over here. There's the V right there. But, awesome. We have the makings of a good day here, so it's we're like going to stay tuned. Something. Yeah, I thought it was, like, 1905 or something, oh, maybe. But awesome find. Thank you, man. Keep at it. It doesn't look too deep, either. It wasn't very deep, but it, it was a weird signal. I'll pull it out here. I thought it was, like, a token because it's warm, but it's a barber. I don't want to rub it. 18.99. I see it. Awesome, man. It's black. That was not deep, and it was a 25 signal. So would that be like lower? That's like I'm... worn lower silver. Yeah. Awesome. That's a good find. Sweet find, man. Thank you, sir. Your turn. Yeah. All right. Zach's calling me over. He said nice he just clean on that side. Is it an Indian? Yeah. Awesome. Can't see the date yet. That, see. That's wiping clean, man. He's out here in the curb. I'm still working up in the yard. These curbs, some of these curbs are bigger than the yards. It's like 18 something, I think. Oh, good. You broke but into the 1800s. Definitely glad, get a picture and get back with you guys on the date. Glad so you found something. We'll keep going. All right, let me get a close up here. Awesome. There's so oh, much trash, clean. too. I was like, I don't know if this is going to be another one, but. Yeah. Oh, that's killer, dude. All right, we'll get a date for you. We got to clean up a little bit and. It's pretty worn, but 1895. Yep, Zach and I could see 1895 right there. So. so awesome. Killer day. Thank you. Killer permission too. We're finding some stuff. It's it's trashy, but we're First pulling stuff out. We got a barber diamond and Indian. So yeah, so that's cool. All right, we're gonna keep at it. All right, guys, I'm hitting the curb, the, curb the curb strip. It's got, cool. got a Sterling heart locket. Oh, sweet. Check that yeah. out. Yeah, I've seen those before. Yeah, Zach found one of these in Emporia, and in the back right there it had the date, but I can see Sterling up here at the top. So that's cool. Check it out. Get a close up. So. Awesome. We'll have to like, open it up. and. Yeah, there might be something in it, but my camera stopped working earlier, so. Uh, Hopefully it doesn't stop working anymore, but keep at it. I'm working in here where Zach found all those Indians and those wheats. I just got a 1914 wheat here. If you look real close, if you look real close, you can't see a D. <laughs> so, awesome. That's an old wheaty. Another old coin for the collection. I'm going to keep at it. All right, Zach thinks he might have an Indian here. So, chances are high. Let's see. I bet you got number three. I see it. Yep. It's an Indian. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Killer. This is a great yard, actually. Yeah. The curb and the yard has been doing good. This is the other side of the walkway. There's two massive trees. Too, so I can't see the date yet, but... 
Let me get a close up. We'll definitely get some water on it and get a picture for you guys. Yeah, Indian. That's cool. That's crusty, but yeah. we'll probably be able to get a date. Awesome. All right, guys, I have to retake this video. I had killer footage of a almost live dig silver. It was right in there. I made Zach pluck it, and it's a very, very worn 1900 Barber Dime. Clear as day. I should have live dug that. Awesome. We're still in this house. This is killer. All right. I really hope this really hope this clip doesn't cut out short, but I just like cut it out of there. I took a nice big slice out of it, but it's a nickel in situ. So we're going to pop it like that. Look at that green patina. What is it? Oh, it's a buffalo nickel. Cool. I took a chunk out of the Indian's face. Hopefully it has a date. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, so we're at a 1930s Tudor house. I just popped out a 1900 or a 1906 Indian. Zach just got it on film. The weirdest part was it was like right there. It was like half an inch deep. I had to like pry back in. So shallow Indian, awesome. Number two for the day. It's about time Zach got awesome. a silver. Really happy Saw about that. Saw that rim in there. Let's pull it out and what do you got, buddy? Yeah, it's a dime. Yeah. Uh, barber. Bar yes. What? Really? Yeah. Three barbers oh on the Oh my day? gosh. 1900. Wait. Any mint mark? I got a 1900 too. You got a mint? Nope. No mint. Let me see what we got going on here. You can do your close up. Yeah. Let me zoom out. I think it's kind of awesome. Awesome. Now we both got barbers. That's three barbers today. Two 1900s as well. This is awesome. This is a great day. Really loving this town. So we'll keep going. All right. Let me. Yeah. Pretty shape, man. Man, that's awesome. I would have been happy with a Merc, but... I hey, thought it was going to be a Merc. I'm stoked. Epic. Cool, dude. That's awesome. Thank you. Boom. It's like a dog tax. Okay. So Zach and I have gotten literally like 12 no permission, like no's and a bunch of not homes, but we're out in this beautiful house. I just dug this dog tax license. I don't know what the year is. Let me clean it up real quick. I don't want to bend it. Oh, it's sideways. Pomona. That is Pomona. What is the year? Um, here, let me clean it up and I'll get back to you. All right, down there, I thought I had an Indian. It ended up just being a 1920 Weedy, so that's pretty cool. What'd you say? One of those Mary Widow. Oh, really? All right. Well, let's go see what he's got. Look, two wheats. This one I thought was an Indian. I my ears off. I was hoping it was going to be like a silver half or something. But... Oh. Mary Widow's condom tin. Heck yeah, that's cool. That, oh, whoops. I just dropped it. All right, there you go. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, thank you. Here's my weedy. Oh, sweet. I thought it was, it was green. I thought it was an Indian. How deep? A couple inches. It wasn't very deep, actually. I dug a 44 wheat deeper. but Awesome. There could be some stuff here. Yep. All right, we'll keep at it. Still at this house here. Didn't plan on filming any more wheats, but I mean, you got to film in 1911. That's an old wheat. Gotta be some silver and Indians here. Sex down there working the curb strip. I'm up here. I almost didn't dig this signal, but I'm glad I did. Ends up being an 1895 V nickel. It wasn't very deep. The back was smooth. I thought I had like my first shield nickel of the year or something, but 1895. Awesome. I'm gonna keep at it. This yard could be good. Sex on that side of the yard. I kind of made it to the side yard here. Wouldn't you believe it? Another dog license. Ottawa, 1974, number 0326. It's kind of got the same design as the um, Pomona one, like a fire hydra or something. This one's like brassy. That's cool. Two dog licenses in one yard. That's pretty cool. Keep at it. All right, we moved on. We're hunting the curbs here right now. I just got a uh, Kansas tax token or something. Pretty brittle. Usually you find Missouri ones, but here's Kansas one, so that's pretty cool. 
Uh, hopefully we get on some silver today. Get back with you. Guys, right there was that tax token. I come over here, it's getting a 1920-ish signal. Got himself an Indian. Looks like it's be 1891. Let's be some good green under that. Bad thing is I kind of give it a kiss right there on accident, so bummer. But Indian down there, I'm happy. 1891 too. Stay at it. Now after Zach checked my Indian, he told me he got a high tone. He said he's got a silver quarter. And I see a silver quarter down there. So I'm super oh, happy gosh. about that. It's been a while since I found a silver quarter. Don't be oh, it's a barber. It is a barber. Dude, yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Lucky, lucky. I ain't found a barber quarter in years. I don't think I nicked it either too. So awesome. Let's get some, we got to get some water on this, All man. Right, we'll come back to you guys. Yeah. All right, Zach's turning on his camera. We're going to live reveal here. All right, we're going to spray off the barber quarter now. So I think it's an 1899, but it is. I can see it. Yep. Oh yeah, beautiful. We talking any mint marks here? And we're gonna find out. What are we looking at here? Oh, I see one. I see one. Oh, oh 1899. Sweet. That's cool, dude. Oh man. Oh, that's killer. New Orleans mint. That's my first one in a while. Wow. That's awesome. Let me get close up when you yeah. get a chance. Oh man, I'm super stoked about that. We're gonna keep hitting this curve and see what else we can get. Well, I said I hope we find some silver, and well, here it is. Some bigger silver, too. Epic. Good job, dude. Thank you. All right, guys, Zach and I work in this curb here. Right there in that shallow hole, I just pulled this out, and I was like, nickels aren't shiny. Unless they're war nickels. Got a 1944. I don't know why that lady just honked. P war nickel. So, I'm on the board with a kind of silver today, so awesome. Second one ever. All right, it's been a while since we found anything. Zach said he got an Indian here in the curb strip. I mean, I can just see the one cent there. But that was kind of crusty. Yeah, it's pretty crusty. Moved on to this nice little corner lot here. Big yard. We got the curb in the yard here. It wasn't I'm trying too to pop deep a silver. Either. It was like three, four inches. Yeah, that ain't deep. Let me see if I can't help yeah. you out here. That is crusty. I'll definitely get a picture for you guys and get a date. There's his Indian. Let's see if I can't do the old fingernail trick. Uh, I don't know why I think I see 1892. Um, I think it's 190 something. All right, anyways, we'll get a date for you. Zach's over here getting. It's it's definitely it's got to be a silver dime. There's no way it's not. What kind of numbers are we getting, Captain? I'm trying. Uh, it's like 11:40. Well, 11:46, I'd say. I was getting 27 ish, 26, 27 on the knock. Which Let's see if I can get it live while holding the camera. Usually means, you know, I could always hold two cameras. This is behind the scenes kind of a live dig. <laughs> a double live dig. I bet that's silver. It's gotta be a dime. Yeah. I would say it's too shallow, but I mean that Indian yeah, wasn't too Indian deep. Yeah, was pretty shallow. I got a couple wheats out of this yard. They're deeper though. The curbs have really been the winners. Like I don't want to scratch it. I'm yeah. trying to pluck it out with one hand. Oh, there it is, silver. Yeah, that is silver. You called it. I knew it. Let's get a close up. Awesome. awesome. Let's see what it is. Mind if I? Yeah, you can pluck here. If it looks like an older one, we'll get a. It's a Merc. Bottle. Should we get some water it's on it? A maybe. Merc. Yeah, it's kind of stuck to it. Yeah. All right, there you go. Awesome. Awesome, dude. Mercury dime. Live dig silver. We're gonna get a date for you guys. Going with the theme here, same year as my war nickel, you got a 44 D. That's cool, man. Thank you. Another silver for the collection. Yeah. Awesome. We're going to keep at it. I guess today's the day I ain't going to find silver. The day's not over yet, but I need a silver. He's already popped two out of the yard. He got another one. He said he saw a worn one dime. I got the water. So, that might be. Let me take a it's look. Thin. Here, let's spray the water on the back first and then. All right, all right. Pick it up more. Oh, dude, that could be a seeded. Look, oh, it has an S mint mark. That's mint mark. That, that, that could be seeded then because the late seeded's mostly S's. Ready? Let's Here we go. Barber. Barber? Yep. Yep. 1898, I think. Oh, that's probably a semi key date, I think. 
1898S, yeah. We'll have to look that one up. Oh, you lucky duck. I need silver. <laughs> Man, it's, now it's your turn to get onto one. I know, right? So, awesome. We'll keep going. All right, let me get a close-up here for my camera here. Oh, lucky dog. Two, seer, two silvers in this yard. I got a war nickel. I need to step my game up. And you got a barber quarter. All right, I'm going to keep at this. All right, guys, it's my turn to find something down there. It's got a V-nickel, but it's really cool because it's an 1883. That's the first year V-nickel. This is the cents variety, though. In 1883, there was two varieties, the five cents and the E pluribus unum. Because I used to counterfeit these as $5 gold pieces, but that's awesome. 1883 V-nickel. First year V-nickel. That's awesome. If you keep at it. It was very shallow, too. And I almost didn't dig it. Dig those nickel signals. Hey guys, still here. This house, I'm just working it slow. Along this curd strip, I got a deep signal there and pulled out an Indian. I don't know what the date is yet. Uh, looks like 1893, I think. Yep, 1893. Awesome. Low and slow. Helps win. I ain't got silver, but I'll take this any day. It's awesome. We're just working it slow now. Keep at it.